So today we're going to uh, put this undercoating on the gas tank. I already did the, uh, the bottom side the other day. As you see, it's nice and black and undercoated. So since I'm going to do the top, what I did is I put these hoses back on so that the return lines don't get all hosed up. And I saved the old uh, sending unit, which is basically this is your gas tank, and this is where the gas flows up. Put the seal in there. And here's that other little ring. So we line this up. Move that into position a little bit. Just give it a little twist. Normally, when you're putting it in for good, you take a um, screwdriver, chisel, or whatever. And give it a twist and give it a hit so it turns all the way. But I'm just doing it so that I can put the undercoating on here and it doesn't get inside the tank. Shake this up pretty well. Test blast. Ooh, okay. Putting in the, the gas gauge here. We've got a gas gauge, we've got a rubber seal, and block So, in there, oops, yeah. in there. Make sure the O-ring sits in there, it's got a little groove in there so you can't go in there wrong. notches here where it all fits. Take our blocking ring, put it right over the top. Get into position and you'll see that it goes underneath these other. So you just twist it just a little bit. at the same time. There we go. Just a little patient with this stuff. There everything else. Okay. It's under there. And we just they have these little high parts here. Just tap it a little bit. Gasket, put the locking ring on until it hit the very end. Here's your ground. Now we have just the, the hose, the outlet hose. Cut that clamp on there. Move this off the side. Now, on this particular unit, it has another return, and that is for big blocks. But since this is not a big block, I went out and bought, got some stoppers here, so we'll see which one of these fits on the end. Oh, there we go. Push that right on there. 
that's the return line. Okay, so now we have all our hoses on here, and we have the, the stock on the return line. So that's how you install the sending unit gas gauge. Okay, one more thing. We have to put these straps on. I use this undercoating. Just shake it up really good. It's these little pads. A little undercoat there, just put it right New ones. I just took the ones off the old gas tank. I'm putting this on, so this will sort of glue it, glue it right together. There we go. There's one. There's two. Once we bolt the gas tank up, this stuff will stay in place. There's one more thing you might want to do. Here is the the cable that hooks up the gas gauge. I used this stuff. I got this a long time ago dielectric tune-up grease. So I'm going to put just a little bit on this ground connection because that goes to the body. Then I'm going to put a little bit more where this connector connects up to the gas gauge wire. And also right here where it connects up to the sending unit still up a little bit because they're going to be exposed to the elements. It may help a little bit with conductivity. Okay, this is the gas tank installation. We have basically two straps here and underneath we just go through the loop hooks down. Same thing with the other one. Okay, so we're basically ready to go. You gotta remember this tank has got to go back up into here and back on the back side. So straps under here. Use a socket and extension and tighten the bolt that holds the band around the gas tank to the body of the car. This is the same thing but on the passenger side. On the rear of the tank there's a bolt on each strap, on two straps, that hold the tank to the back of the car. Now this is the connection for the gas gauge. You'll see there's a little hole for you can put the grommet to hold the wire to the frame. On the front of the tank, this is the ground, this is what completes the connection so the gas gauge works. 
Now connect all these hoses um, to the return lines. There's also a hose there that sends the gas to the fuel pump. This is the return line on the driver's side. There's also one on the passenger side. This is what the gas tank looks like when it's all installed. You see it's held in there by two straps. Then you can take some more undercoating and just spray on all the little places that you missed, all the scratches, whatever. And there it is, all complete.